Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I just go botted transformed into Mike. Dan, what kind of knockoff 80s toy beer are we drinking today? I can't even. Uh, this beer is uh, from Hot Butcher for the World oh, hey. out of Chicago. Chicago, <gasps> Illinois, Chicago. and this is in collab with uh, Clag Brewing, oh, and uh, okay. they're out of, didn't look it up, but I'm assuming you're there. Um, <laughs> they're from <laughs> Idaho. I don't know. They're probably Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. Uh, anyways, this is Bon Me Emperor, and this Ooh. is a Simcoe and Nectaron Hop no, Triple Eater. IPA, a tippa, if you will. Oh. It's Bon, what? What'd you say? I think it's pronounced Bon Eaver. Bon Me? I think it's Bon Eaver. So now like the singer? No. This is based oh, off of Viet. Like so a Bon Me, like it's a sandwich. It's a mm. Viet. Oh. It's like a I'm Viet singer Vietnamese, like a, like a a savory meat sub. Well that something. looks like a, a Gobot burger. So. What's going on here? I feel like this whole beer is a deception or a Decepticon and does not meet. No, no, no canned on date. But we did look it up on the Instas and like this April. So we're we're oh, done. Okay. Um, triples from IPA triples? or from, from IPA? Yeah, from Hop from Hop Butcher. Uh, recently, <laughs> we had a good one. You'll never know about it because Dan deleted the footage. He's son of my fuck up. Sorry, he's lying to me because that was arguably one of the best triples I've ever had. I really did like. It didn't occur to me. I was like, oh, I deleted this. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, I I do. After that last one, I have high hopes for this one. And it's just, what Simcoe Nectar on? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, so I, I hard poured, so I got like a head built up here. That's all right. I'm gonna try to build one up. Uh, that looks uh, super hazy, dull orange pear hashtag juice. Hashtag proper glassware. Always hashtag proper glassware. Yeah. Nice little uh, thin. Look at that juice. Film juice, my head on there. It's juice. It's juice, baby. Juice. It's juice. Uh, looks great. Let me get a whiff. The juice is dead. The juice is loose no more. Unless uh, you're going to see Beetlejuice. Too you soon. know, when people ask you, how do you feel about OJ? How do you feel about OJ? That was a great running back. Here's the thing. You gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta, sep understand. you gotta separate the OJs. Oh, yeah. There was like the football OJ, come juices out, you know. Yeah, yeah. The juice. I mean, no one will ever do what he did. And then, you know, there's white Bronco OJ. Both, both. NFL and, well, Someone will probably do what you know, the other thing he did. But. We call that juice on the loose. <laughs> uh, I go to Norm MacDonald for, for may he rest in peace for all uh, my OJ news and God jokes. Why is Norm MacDonald not still oh, with us? I don't That's know. terrible. I don't know. All right. A weird review. Yeah. This smells good. Uh, it's a nice tr subtle tropical notes, but yeah. a dank... Dank, grassy. Ooh, that's what I love about uh, like oh. uh, Nectaron. It's just so just like just juicy and just like orange Kool Aid and just. Uh, Whereas Simcoe is a, a lot of tropical, but like catty kind of yeah. you know dank. So I think I get a big hop. I get a big pineapple from a lot of Simcoe beers, but yeah, I like this hop combination. I, I think it really it balances them out. Are you getting like uh, there's? It's like this uh, kind of like chalky vanilla kind of protein powder kind of. Thing oh, I can that. see a protein powder. Yeah. Yeah, like a candied chalkiness to it. Mm. Interesting smelling. All right. Cheers. A little bubble gum. Oh, yeah, Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Go Joe's got that chalky kind mm -hmm. of. They have that like chalky confectionery sugar on it or whatever. Sometimes papery, but that's when you eat in the comic. Full body. A little sweet. Mouthfeel is. Mm. It's a touch above. Yeah. It's juicy. It's um, it's well, like toothpaste, orange juice, juicy, but but higher on the juicy side. That's pretty good. Very hops saturated. Like there, there is a, a bit of astringency there. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I think. Um, it it's not it's not off putting to a degree, but there is a mm-hmm. bit of like a astringency on the back end. Um, I definitely get the Cinco out of this. the The nice tropical. There's pear, uh, pineapple, um, and, and they're like juicy. There, there's a little pithy, rindy bitterness to it, but it, it's a juicy beer. For the ABV, it kind of drinks light. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. But at the same time, you get that kind of but, big alcohol thing going. But then there's still like the the triple sweetness that I find. But it, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of mellow. I don't know. It's what not, a whole can would do. It's but not the thickest beer. No, not by any means. I, I think this drinks like a moderate double. What do you guys think? You guys like triples? Talk to us. Throw some comments up right now. We're live. I gotta tell you, that. I think they've stepped up their triple game because. Yeah. Old triples from Hot Butcher, like when I first had them, it was like nothing but sweetness. But there was oh, a nice balance. And they were thick. Like they were yeah. thick, creamy, there, sweet. There is a, yeah. I like the balance. Very much so. Mm. This is a good beer. I, I, I like this. This is one where I just take the most minute sip, and it affects the palate. It blows up on the palate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to say, you, you can sit and sip this and enjoy it for a while. And the smallest of sip is going to do a, a lot of damage. I am getting the like that the, the, uh, yeasty kind of doughy character, um, and that bubble gum I think is still there. Um, I don't know if it's transitioned. It's like halfway in between juicy fruit and bazooka Joe. Okay. Yeah, I definitely still get the the bazooka Joe confectionery Ooh. aspect, but it it's getting hot. hot. It's getting hot for me. Yeah, it's beckoning you to slow down. It's okay. It is. Enjoy this is like sip for a little bit. See, yeah, this is something you're like, you sip for a while. This is good. I like it. I like it. I'll give it a... I'll give it a 4.175. 4 2. You want to know what's in it? Sure. Lush orange. Okay. Juicy tropical. Okay. Big time. Pleasant pine. Yep. Pleasant Pine rears its ugly head. Uh, the the nemesis to Pleasant Dank. By the way, mm-hmm. Hot Butcher just uh, in their I get their weekly newsletter. As do I. Yes. Um, they put out an APB, if you will. Okay. Um, what are they looking for? Rat. For rat. Yes. Like Brad Marchand. Rats reviews. Oh, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> so they put rat. If you're reading this. Let us know you're alive. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, we miss reviews. So, yeah. We're laughing. What What if something's really wrong with him? Yeah, that'd, that'd be terrible. Yeah. What if... What if... <laughs> I was going to say something. I stopped myself. I stopped myself. We're going to cut that. That's short. I was just going to say, what if, what if a rat defected from Hot Butcher? He's found a new brewery. And he started a whole new channel. <laughs> That'd be amazing. He's all about Sam Adams now. <laughs> like, no, it's gotta be Chicago. It's gotta be oh, okay, okay. Revolution. Oh well, I mean, it's called Mouse's Minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Revolution beers. <laughs> He's changed his whole persona, like the whole whole demeanor, everything completely changed. And each review is a minute or under. Mouse's. <laughs> That's ours. Don't steal it. We keep saying that. We never take any of these ideas. It doesn't matter. They're documented. They're ours. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, We're doers. We're thinkers. That's good beer. I didn't rate it. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Four two. Four two. All right. It's good beer. Good beer. Uh, It's like we forgot how to do this. That's all right. No, you know what it is? You're you're in that mode where you're just kind of sitting here just chilling. I'm enjoying the beer. Well, we've been talking recently about doing some, like, you know, the live streams mm-hmm. on a Saturday. And I, it's still with me. I, I'm in that mode. I want to, I'm looking yeah, forward to doing that. Yeah, I got to set it off. We got to do it. I guess It'll be fun. Up. Maybe, like. So, inter- we'll, have, we'll have interactions going on. We'll have some people post. Yeah, we'll, I, I got to clean it up out here. I got ideas. I got ideas. Yeah. I got big ideas. I got ideas. See all these drinks? There might be a fridge out here. That's my idea. <laughs> That that's that's all you need. It's another fridge. Yeah, I was thinking about getting a little mini fridge out here. Hey, I'm, for all these drinks. I'm in. I got three fridges in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm good. And uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you do. <laughs> and uh, 
you know, maybe maybe a little wall mount action. I've never wall mounted before. Ever wall mount? No, but I hear that's bad for resell of a house. Yeah? Like you have to leave it there. Yeah. Or some such thing, because it's part yeah. of the... Yeah, I don't want to... Maybe I'm not going to wall mount. Yeah. But we'll figure that's it out. That's how we'll wheel it over. Yeah, key, uh, stay tuned if you've watched this long. And, and, hey, uh, I'll, I'll do something that... But uh, I'll do something with that $350 cooler that nobody uses, that we needed so badly. It's lives. almost deflating. Like, it's sad that there's nothing in it. Yeah. It's like, oh, why won't you put any red oh, I need this cooler. It's, I'm going to die if I don't have it. The tag's still on it. Down in the description, leave a comment. Please. We like to interact sometimes. A couple of potties down there, too. Uh, link tree. Click on some of those. Uh, this police. was a treat to try. Some popcorners. What's that guy's name again? Calvin Popovich or whatever? Tripods. Vacuums. Can you tripods? Thanks for watching, everybody. You can see on the other side of this. It's, yeah. Cheers. <laughs>